I wanted to do today is to talk about three possible approaches that you might use that draw on things, as I said before, that you likely already do in your courses, things that I've seen in writing courses over many years. And it, it makes it an easy way to kind of make a leap into a writing in the disciplines approach, either for an entire course or program, or just by introducing it in a couple of assignments in a course. On the diagram that I have on the slide, um, I've listed the, the three different approaches, and I put them in a Venn diagram because they do kind of overlap. Um, they're not mutually exclusive, and you're going to see that, I think, in the way that I describe them and the assignments that I give you as examples to these approaches. So first, we're going to talk about a genre-based approach, which I, which I have there in the bottom right. Um, and in a genre-based approach, you discuss the different academic genres that students might encounter in other disciplines or the genres that are common in those disciplines. Second, we'll talk about a topical approach to writing in the disciplines. Um, and in this approach, you might have students look at a particular issue or a topic, but look at it from different disciplinary perspectives and understand how different disciplines approach the same topic, what kinds of questions they ask, um, how they might engage in inquiry about that topic. And then finally, we'll talk about a more rhetorically based approach which uses rhetorical principles to understand the rhetorical work that um, different kinds of writing are doing in those disciplines. And I'll um, specifically introduce you to a framework that we use to help students analyze academic writing that we found to be really successful. So first, let's take a look at uh, a genre-based approach. Now, for each of these approaches, um, I've given you a guiding question that um, I hope will help you to understand what, what it is that we're asking students to really think about when we're engaging in this approach to writing in the disciplines. And then we'll also take a look at one example assignment. And it's just one of many possible assignments. And during the, the Q&A at the end, we could talk about some other possible assignments that you might use or activities that you could do in classes. But I wanted to give you at least one possibility that would illustrate what I'm talking about. So in a genre-based approach, the guiding question is, what are the common genres in a particular discipline, and what conventions do those genres share? Um, if you're digging even deeper into this, you might ask students, where do those conventions come from? Um, as I said earlier, what values do those conventions represent? This approach, of course, draws really heavily on genre theory and um, on the work in writing across the curriculum, and specifically in the diagram that you have on the right. I've drawn on the work of Mike Carter, um, whose essay that he wrote, it was published in Three Cs in 2007, uh, and it was an essay for which he won the Braddock Award. He talks about the concept of metagenres when we're teaching students um, about writing in different disciplines, and advocates that we focus on these meta-genres, which are genres that um, cut across different disciplines, focusing on the genres that span different disciplines. Um, and so if you focus on looking for the genres to discuss uh, that span different disciplines and that students might encounter in different disciplinary areas because they'll be engaging in that same work in different classes, that can be of particular meaning to them. I wanted to focus on the two that are in the, um, the bottom right of the diagram, specifically just to give examples of what these meta-genres look like. So for empirical inquiry, if you wanted to introduce students to that as a meta-genre and then think of specific genres in the disciplines that do this kind of work, you might introduce them, for example, to the MRAD Social Science Report and talk about um, what that looks like and what kind of work that does, or a laboratory report, uh, the kinds of um, genres that academics use when they're, important, when they're reporting on data that they collect in their own research. Um, on the bottom of that diagram, if you're focusing on the meta-genre of research from sources, you might have them do or analyze a couple of the genres that are pretty common in writing classes like uh, annotated bibliographies or reviews of literature. Um, these are all examples of genres that do the same kind of work but that cut across different disciplines. You see, of course, reviews of literature in every disciplinary area.